The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me. And of course, it doesn't matter where me and you are, as long as we're together at the appointed and sacred time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So, we've got a uh, market's kind of... Uh, Somewhere nowhere's uh, land here after having a huge pop today. I still suspect that we're probably going to find these ranges into uh, tomorrow. Um, and maybe they'll hold to 11 or 11.30. We'll have to see how that works out. But uh, with the absolute flood of people telling me last night how they went short, I had to figure that the market was going to be up higher today and uh, it's never a good idea when everybody has the same idea you have uh, especially if you're going short uh, da, 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 da. I know you don't care for you know, I. it's not that I don't care it's just that none of it's good he's asking about battery tech N, uh, ENVX has a solution for wearables and phones to eliminate the, uh, the risk of battery fire with their brake Flow technology. They have secured contracts with the U.S. military. Uh, Samsung's so far away to go. Do you have any thoughts on this? Uh, we'll get to that here. Get it out of the way. Uh, I want to think. Oh, someone had asked about, uh, before the show, had asked about single stock futures. And all you got to do is got to kind of compare them uh, to uh, what's happening in um, the the actual stock itself, but uh, I don't know how you're supposed to trade them. It may take a little bit of a, a long time, but uh, uh, TS uh, what is it TSLA? No, not TSLQ, but I clicked the wrong one here. TSLA doesn't look anything like what's going on in the stock itself. So I don't know. I don't know, understand what they're supposed to be good for. I've watched this thing in her day a couple of times. It never seems to trade with the stock. I don't know. Maybe somebody else call in and tell me that they've traded this and what it actually does. But uh, eh, no. As far as I can tell, no real uh approximation of what the the stock is itself is doing and yeah i have no idea it just seems rather nuts at the moment um most of these single stock f features remind me of the bucket shops that uh jesse livermore talked about in his book around 1900 and uh I don't know if there's anything else that really changes a great deal of that. Uh, anyway, a question about ENVX. I haven't looked at the chart, so EV and X, we'll talk about that. Um, okay. Well, we can turn that down a little bit. ENVX, right? E N V X. Okay. And see. Okay, you got a nice gap up here. So we'll go here. Okay, uh, they're based. Uh, in San Francisco. They make lithium ion batteries, company founded in 2007. Um, I haven't looked at their particular technology. It's nice when they don't catch on fire. 
Uh, but uh, my guess is that they probably don't put out near the power that the ones that catch on fire do, or everybody would have moved over that uh, uh, for uh, getting fin going. Okay. Da, da, da. Eh, it's right across from a Tesla factory. Okay. Well, I think they're moving out. That Tesla factory is closing in San Francisco. Or wherever they're at in L.A. They're moving everything to Dallas. But uh, I don't know. you got a nice gap here. you got lots of juice. Um, the big problem I have is the batting average on these. And that is the batting average is, I think it's probably up to one in a thousand right now of ones that actually have anything. Um, a lot of people think battery companies are like semiconductors, and that is that they're going to get twice as good in a year from now. And the reality is chemistry moves at a very small uh, snail's pace with monster amounts of uh, money to be spent. And uh, there was a – I was – watching or reading a uh, article on just how much money Intel spent to change from one size die to a larger size die. Uh, the uh, silicon that they actually make chips on when they went from 8 inch to 12 inch uh, discs to, to actually create chips on in the late 90s and how back then uh, they had to almost put $10 billion of their own money in to making uh, the change so that things would happen. So, you know, a lot of these things, I'm not particularly uh, knowledgeable about this one, but they tend to get a huge bounce. And when you actually dig back into it, it is a lot more like what Musk uh, runs around and does. And that is that, you know, you get maybe six or eight, well, actually, uh, the uh, Tesla batteries are about 8% better than they were in 2010. And that's up from about 6%, I think, in 2020. But that's about 8% over 12 years. And But he'll come out and say that he's got a, a battery with 50% more power. All he did was made a smaller battery cell into a slightly larger battery cell and maybe the updates in chemistry got one or two percent now everybody thinks that the kind of chemistry is just going to double overnight it just doesn't and you have to scale these things out so you really need to dig in on a particular company find out how much money it's going to take to industrialize it at what profit uh, at what point do they actually make a profit um, and uh, does it actually not burn? Because there are several batteries that don't. They may be a great company, um, but uh, the question is, are they going to be made at the kind of scale that they can apply their patent? My guess is that these companies that come up with these batteries and aren't big companies are going to have a problem. And that is that everybody's just going to steal their technology and fight them out in court for the next 10 or 15 years. Yep, yep, yep. We'll be back in a minute. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 and uh, we had a question in the den about Inovix and they got a nice pop out here with some volume on it it's not that every one of these battery companies is some kind of fraud uh, the reality, though, is to, uh, just how many years it takes uh, for chemistry to actually get something to market uh, that is significant. I did look at the price points, and yeah, the military is one of the few company, uh, few uh, customers that can probably afford these things in any kind of volume. Uh, and the mission that the military has maybe make these things uh, interesting. Um, I guess the best part to describe this battery is that it's built on silicon uh, anodes and the idea is that it's going to be a little bit more shock resistant uh, without uh, catching fire. If you don't know anything about battery technology for lithium ion batteries, uh, just imagine going into a cave with the stalactites and the stalagmites and as you uh, any of these lithium ion batteries uh, those uh, stalactites and stalagmites uh, will grow uh, from the ceiling and to, from the floor. Uh, and in a battery, when they touch, uh, they'll short out and cause a fire, and literally cause the lithium in it to start burning. But, uh, you know, the idea is that if you can make these more, uh, uh, more uh, 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 le use less liquid, and more solid substances that it will be much harder uh, for the the migration of the stalactites and the stalagmites from one side to the other from the cathode to the anode uh, a uh, issue and so you can delay it but I haven't seen anybody that's actually solved it um, but uh, it's an interesting technology they'll probably make some money uh, do they replace all the batteries in a car uh, from what I read here during the break, the answer is no. But you can always have a great product. It's just, is it going to be what everybody always thinks it's going to be? I think there's a lot of hope uh, in the battery space. And every week I see another advertisement uh, for some company that has a solid state battery 
and they're going to be out in a week and you find out a year later that they still haven't done anything so the biggest problem with them is not this particular company but most of them uh, have a economy with the truth about what they're actually doing 877-927-6648 and see what else we have I know we got some emails coming here uh to Okay, I always watch uh, GNRC. How do you t- you taught us many moons ago? Uh, a little Indian lingo there. When it's moving up, it's telling me hurricanes may be late to the party. However, they're coming. May explain the move in oil companies as well. Thoughts? Uh, G C G R uh, G S N C R. Uh, I think a lot of the growth in uh, did I do it right? GNRC. My dyslexia is at hurricane levels today. Generac, um, yeah, he gapped up a little bit. The big thing that really moved this up last year uh, was the lack of electricity in uh, California. Well, there weren't that many big uh, disasters where people needed more generators. Uh, but uh, just the not being able to count on having electricity in uh, in uh, California had a lot of people buy these. Well, now, of course, they didn't want anybody actually having an electricity. So there are some new laws uh, in California pretty much trying to outlaw anybody with their own generator uh, because it's a, it's a great state. It's a beautiful state. It's a state where you actually use any power other than the uh, power of the govern, uh, governor, uh, government uh, to oppress its subjects. Uh, they don't like it, and they're not working on making uh, any more electric available. They haven't touched their uh, power distribution system since uh, all the fires uh, a few years ago. I don't know what – it's almost a suicidal policy, uh, but uh, – I think when you really look back here at the big move other than the market itself, a great deal of that up to 524 was a monster amount of sales in the West um, for those folks that wanted to get in and get power uh, for a failing power system in, uh, well, let's just say the uh, West Coast. So is it, uh, is it all hurricanes? No. It's just a lack of power, which hurricanes, of course, occasionally do. But uh, they had their claim to fame, I think, uh, really after that giant run uh, in California where lots of people didn't have power and lots of things got burnt down and power lines, uh, you know, they haven't, they haven't touched them. Uh, and uh, that was a problem. I remember, I think I actually said uh, on air about... Uh, them hiring some gal that was a, a head of a a, gam- uh, a uh, gaming, a gambling hotel in Las Vegas uh, to run their electrical grid. So probably still problems there. But really that move off the top uh, was uh, the discussions a great deal for California uh, on them making them illegal. Uh, to buy generators of all kinds, and especially standby generators. Uh, We can't have you having power when your next-door neighbor doesn't have power. I don't know. It's just, it drives me nuts sometimes. Uh, They don't want to have power. They don't want anybody else to have power. It's just nuts. Uh, But anyway, as we uh, look at this, that was the big move. Again, hurricanes, disasters, uh, a drop of the electrical grid. I don't think we have near the problem that maybe others do. Um, and, you know, the, I think the next big move for Generac would really be uh, concentrating probably in Germany this next Christmas. I haven't heard or looked and seen what they did, but it seems to me like uh, Western uh, Europe is probably prime for this when everybody's going to be out of natural gas and freezing. But uh, I don't know. 
Well, maybe I, I'd keep a close eye on that. I haven't seen anything in the way of any hurricanes uh, that really look uh, promising for Florida as of late. I know there's some storms, but I don't think they're much of anything. But, yeah, you keep an eye on that. Generally, Generac really runs extremely well uh, right just the, you know, if you get a hurricane and you get a bead on Florida or Texas, about that seven days or five days out, and then you get about two or three days, and then the last two days, it, you know, the, these storms about three-fourths of the time are going to peter out or go somewhere else, and then the stock price comes down. So you really have to be about seven days in front of that. Uh, 877-927-6648. I, I don't think there's a whole lot in the hurricanes. I remember the hurricane predictors that were down here uh, for 15 years predicted hurricanes. We didn't have a one. <laughs> they finally went out of business, started up a store next door. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Yeah, people talking in the den. Apparently, this law in California doesn't go into effect on the state level until uh, 2028. But in L.A. and in certain areas uh, by county, they have been made illegal. I'm just looking this up out here. So, yeah, not on. I'm pretty sure that the, there's a. Uh, that a lot of people are looking at that. I'm not exactly sure if they're totally illegal to use after 2028. Do you have to buy them? Are you grandfathered? I couldn't find that in the articles either. But, uh, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, a lot of talk today about CMG. I know you can't buy a grill now. Uh, and uh, gas-powered lawnmowers. Are those already out? Hard to tell. Uh, anyway, uh, Chipotle CMG uh, did have a test of its previous high. Did it on volume. You're pulling back a little bit today. Um, one of the better-looking ones out here in the market. That's it. Uh, two, two, two. And eh, you don't have much volume out here. I, this seems awful richly priced right now, and I think in a toppy market uh, is problematic. Uh, two, 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 two. But that's it. Okay. Um, you got more volume, so you're probably going to get a retest of 1684 you're going to need some volume to break through that level maybe it keeps going um seems to be the darling of wall street right now and uh, cnbc and bloomberg seems to be that they're in a day where you don't see uh, that there's some article going by so it's got a lot of mind share for uh, at least retail investors but uh, that's it okay Okay, we'll go back to that gets the uh, get to the other email that we have okay um okay we're looking at cmg uh and xom so let's take a quick look at that well yeah i, I actually own a generac uh generator so yeah I've, everybody knows they pretty much put those 500 gallon uh, propane tanks on them, or mouse everywhere. But uh, that's it. But yeah, there's a adapter if you want to use the little tiny ones, like the ones you use on your grill, pressure differential of some kind. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, somebody emailed me here, says that they'll be illegal after 2028. I'm going to have to run that down and find out if that is actually true. It's kind of hard to think that they could do that, but maybe, I don't know. That would certainly put a dent in whether or not you sell uh, generators in California. Uh, to, to. Okay, I've got another email here that we'll get to. Okay, I want to look at the XLE again today. Okay. Yeah, you're approaching the previous high on light volume July 29th. Uh, 25 million shares. Eh, pretty much right there. Eh, not a huge push. I'm not a fan of being short energy for any reason whatsoever. Uh, I'd buy, be buying the pullbacks for a while. I don't see much out here. Biggest thing is just how big a resistance this level is from the June 29th high that had 40 million shares and didn't make it through it. So you actually have three highs out here. And uh, it depends what happens uh, before the end of the day. But certainly that would be it. Uh, Okay. I don't see anything else out here. You've got a 
low that was never tested, but it wasn't really a particularly high low, uh, level. Uh, support comes in at about 70, and you're at resistance. So right now, this is just kind of walking through. Uh, question about GLD, which we'll get to next. Uh, two, two, two. Okay. 14 million shares down on the 5th of July, down the first, you had about 11 million shares. So you've gotten in that with 3 million shares, 4 million shares, and 3 million shares. So kind of up at against uh, resistance against some of these huge day down. Uh, big difference here is you're really not backing off of this yet. And even with a dollar down, let's go back and look at that very closely. Uh, Okay. Uh, let me get this up here real quick. Okay, that's one, that's two. Let's bring up the dollar. AX, well, you dip down to 104.55 earlier on the day on the uh, dollar index, 105 and six cents today. So <laughs> actually holding up fairly good for being back uh, 40, 50 cents up off the lows. Okay, probably the big story of the day uh, is the GLD, or not the GLD, excuse me, is the TLT uh, from yesterday. Uh, had a bond auction in the 30 uh, year that didn't go so well. And uh, you got to look. We were looking for a retest of this approximately 112 level from the June 8th low. And that certainly is, uh, what, 15 million shares? You got 11 already today. Uh, you know, the, I don't think a lot of people are thinking about what happens starting in September, and that is that uh, at least what they've said that they're going to do means that there's going to be about $90 billion coming out of the market each month uh, that they will not be putting back on uh, by the Fed. Um, so that starts, I think, in late September. I'm going to have to look that back up read about it earlier this morning but uh yeah it seems like we're taking a fairly big run for a market in the bonds that looks lower we'll be back in a minute TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro dollar, Pound dollar, Aussie dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As we return, okay, 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 we got that, and see, okay, question about Disney, theme park business is extremely good, uh, you're giving some of it back, it's not so bad, they still lost a billion dollars uh, on the streaming part of their business, and well, it's not as bad as it was in 2000, but I, it does kind of, the first thing I thought about it when they were telling everybody how great it was that they lost a billion dollars or only a billion dollars, uh, Hurricane be back to when everybody was talking about eyeballs in 1999 on websites. Uh, and, uh, you know, that was, well, we, you know, we've got 100 million people that come by every day and look at our website. We've got eyeballs. But it never really turned into money. So I'm always a little bit of reticent about that kind of uh, thing. The theme park business was boffo, uh, mostly because, of course, uh, they had only about a, a half a year in the uh, Disneyland. Uh, and so they got a great deal more of that back in there. And everybody was raring to go back to the parks. Um I'm still a little wor uh, wary of uh, Disney's uh, long-term um, value in streaming, mostly because if you look at uh, like Variety and some of those other magazines, um, they're starting to carry the streaming minutes uh, and which ones are, people are watching. That kind of bounces the ground uh, depending on what the hot thing is. When it was The Mandalorian, um, that was, I think, uh, two to one over the Netflix's highest rated show. Right now, they really don't have a lot on that's uh, catching a, a lot of eyeballs. Uh, maybe the Hulu brand seems to be doing much better. I, I didn't dig in too far to the numbers this morning. But uh, if uh, this is actually a stock that is comparable to Netflix, it seems to me like it's mostly comparable to a theme park company. But uh, it, it was a very interesting argument that they were m trying to make today for Disney and its streaming service. Uh, eh, don't know. You know, when The Mandalorian's on, I have a feeling they're going to have a lot of subscriptions. Uh, the price hike today had a lot of people going, thinking that that was a great thing. Gave back what? And kind of at the lows of the day, but not horrible. Um, I think a lot of people were short this. I thought that they were going to be able to, or it would be much tougher to cover up some of the big movie misses they had, like the, uh, what's the name of that thing? Uh, Buzz Lightyear. But I don't think that made that into this quarter. 
but now yeah, they'll probably be able to get a little bit of that back before they report on the next quarter. But uh, a lot of volume today and uh, probably too many shorts in it. The question really gets into um, they don't have near as much production as Netflix does. So it's probably going to be easier for them to cut back on some of the stuff that people aren't watching and make just the stuff that they are watching. Uh, but, uh, yeah, eh, Star Wars had a lot of people subscribing. Uh, a lot of people did tune out about halfway through uh, the Jedi uh, thing from the summer. But, uh, eh, we'll see. I I I have a feeling, I, I just kind of wonder whether or not this is all going to end up being kind of 2.0 for Apple and it's a foray into uh, music and the iPod. And we're really at the end of it, all these folks just kind of ended up destroying the music business. I'm wondering if uh, between all these folks, um, there isn't at least going to be some level of... Uh, problems that come out of all the streaming and the lack of the traditional movie industry. But uh, eh, change always has fine. Uh, uh, Mrs. Hulk CFO will be a <laughs> Mrs. Hulk CFO will be a blockbuster. I don't know about that movie. Okay. Yeah, a lot in here. Um, John from the Den uh, actually posted uh, a little bit about what the Fed is getting ready to do starting in September. Uh, reinvest in agency MBS, the total principal payments from the Federal Reserve's holding a debt. Agency MBS received each calendar month for that uh, exceeds a cap of $35 billion per month. And that's that roll off. The Bloomberg folks were talking about a few other things going on today and talking about 90 billion but that's uh, I'm not exactly sure what they were getting at too uh, I, you know actually didn't really somebody said the, the dust up with Disney and Florida didn't really have that much of an effect people were coming anyway you got to take your kid to Disneyland there isn't that much of that 877 uh, da, 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 okay uh, uh, okay and what else do we have oh uh, somebody wanted to know about Rivian so I'll go back here and look at that da, 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 da. Okay. Earnings out after the bell, by the way, R-I-V-N. And, of course, this was a company that Ford was talking about buying, and they ended up going public. Uh, they still use a lot of uh, parts in common from Ford uh, that they buy from them. Um, who knows on new IPOs whether or not you're going to do well. you got a doji out here today. I think that a lot of their initial uh, rollout uh problems that they have they're getting solved but they do have a little bit or did have a bit of negative press uh, right after the uh, the output of it seems like they've got a lot of great ideas and generally companies that have a lot of great ideas just end up in court trying to defend them uh, when they don't have the backbone of uh, a larger company like Ford or General Motors or Chrysler to actually defend all that uh, oh, there is actually. I thought he was joking. There is a She-Hulk. Hmm. Okay. Uh, two, two, two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, just looking here at a few other things for Rivian. I don't think that you can probably call anything or much of anything out here. My guess, though, is a ton of people were short this. Um, 
over the last few weeks, and I think they're going to stay short. So you may have, uh, if they don't really whiff, they could do okay just on the short squeeze. I don't think I'd want to be short going into earnings tonight. R-I-V-N. We'll be back in a minute. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as we come back, uh, just uh, looking at the volumes so we can see how the volume end up today. We've got about 9 billion shares with about an hour to go. So there's uh, some decent volume. I think a lot of people are looking for this market to top out in kind of a blaze of glory. Uh, but uh, eh, we're probably, if that right, eh, probably at least from the options, I was looking for it to hold 4,200. So we're off uh, 86 on the uh, NASDAQ, and uh, eh, we're off about 5 or 6 on the S&Ps right now. So we're probably up here. My guess is we're probably going to get a bounce in the morning again. Probably seeing a lot of people short today. They'll probably run them. Then if you're going to have any real meaningful pullback, I'm, I'm thinking that it will be later tomorrow afternoon. But uh, it depends. I don't think there's enough in the, any kind of earnings and uh, maybe job numbers do something for us. 
in the morning, but I don't think there's a lot of other extraneous news, and I don't think a lot of people are looking for a surprise in the job numbers. So maybe you get one more pop up, or I would love to see it, uh, that no one shorts. In fact, we can see today whether or not anybody actually shorted, or I'll know later tonight. So we'll see in the morning before the numbers come out. But uh, generally, these things top out when everybody quits shorting. And eh, I haven't gotten any emails in the last hour or two from the people that have been shorting every uh, 20 points higher and emailing me the end of the world stuff. Markets go higher, markets go lower. Um, I'm not going to get too wound up in the higher and lower. I didn't like the fact that nobody or very few people were short this uh, move higher. The volume, I mean, if you look at the S&Ps uh, and the spies, really didn't come in the last few minutes, which makes me suspect a lot of that was yesterday's move was a lot of uh, short covering. So we'll see whether or not we have any juice up here. Even a 50% retracement would be fairly large. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.